suppliers in India and Indonesia substituted cheap industrial solvent for the glycerin and propylene glycol drug makers need to make liquid medicine like cough syrup. The chemicals ended up in children's cough syrup, tragically killing more than 300 African and Asian children. In March of 2023, the FDA joined the World Health Organization to help the Gambian government investigate cough syrup deaths. They concluded that Indian factories making medicine had not tested the ingredients sufficiently. Then the FDA came home and updated industry guidance about testing for these chemicals and high-risk ingredients, and they warned 28 companies that they would not be able to make U.S. drugs unless they fixed and documented their testing regimens. Half of those companies were also added to the FDA's import alert. This is a list that customs officials can use to seize medicines at the border that have not been tested acceptably enough for U.S. consumption. Active oversight like this is why the U.S. has so few dangerous counterfeits in their supply chain. The FDA holds manufacturers for the U.S. drug market, no matter where they are, to higher manufacturing standards and record keeping, including documenting strict testing of the ingredients that go into our medicines. It's also why you should always be getting your medicine from a licensed U.S. pharmacy. To learn how to make sure your pharmacy is safe, consult our patient resources page at the URL on the screen.